Damn. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In this one, we are going to talk about ticket symbol R I D E, Lordstown Motors. This company is in the spotlight uh, this morning because Hindenburg Research has put out a hit uh, piece on these guys. And so the price of the stock is just uh, plummeting. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, for those of you that don't know Lordstown Moto, it's an EV uh, startup that is actually uh, working to produce like an EV truck uh, to kind of compete with companies like Ford or Chevy or Ram, um, even with Tesla, because Tesla is also talking about putting out their cyber truck. So uh, these guys are, it's, again, it's still a startup. They don't have any uh, production um, trucks yet, but they are working on starting production based on the information that they've been putting out. So again, there's a hit piece out here from uh, Hindenburg Research. And again, if you guys know Hindenburg Re Research, these are the guys that took down Nikola Motors. If you remember last year when they put out a piece on Nikola and explained to people uh, what Nikola was doing, how they fake um, some of their, their data and how they actually fake even some of their prototype testing, like driving down the street as opposed to actually using the power of the engine to power their their trucks. So Hindenburg Research goes after companies and really point out some things that they don't see adding up. Again, this is a short seller firm. So when they go after a company, the pro their goal is to drive the price of the stock down. So they point out things that would make the price of the stock go down. So again, do go in there and do your own research. And I'm going to put the link to this research down there because I'm not going to read the whole thing. So you guys can definitely go check it out for yourself. But basically, they're pointing out that some of the pre-orders that Lordstown Models is actually putting out there are not real. You know, they're doing doing business with companies that don't really exist or company like a two-person startup that doesn't really exist. They have a you know a USPS uh, mailing address and nothing substantial and those kinds of companies cannot put up fifty two uh, million dollars to do pre orders so they're just pointing out some of those the, the stuff like that and um, also they're putting out stuff about their uh, CEO who came from Workhorse and now like hey talking about him burning money and wasting cash so again I'm gonna let you guys definitely go check this out but. Again, when they put out most of this research, it's an opportunity either for you to, you know, jump into the stock or get out. So in this case, I want us to take a look at the stock right now. As you can see, when the uh, just pre-market, when the news came out, this thing was sitting at maybe about $18, uh, $17 and some change, and it pulled down to uh, $14. And now, I mean, as a matter of fact, it's actually down um, almost 16% uh, for the day. But this, I'm pretty sure this is going to go down even some. So if you can see down here, I have an order for, uh, you know, at $12 to buy 100 shares at $12 to, to, to at least ride that wave back. Because most of these, uh, the, when they put out those reports like this, it usually drives the price of the stock down and then it eventually bounces back a little bit. And in this case, they're not saying that the company is a fake company. They're just saying most of the thing I see here is just saying like the pre-orders that they supposedly post that they have are not really uh, uh, pre-orders. So it's not like they're not building a truck or working on building a truck. Again, they cannot dispute this because they have put out this truck. People can see it. They drive it around. Um, so it's right there for people to see. But they're just saying like, hey, be transparent. Um, stop lying or saying that you have pre-orders that you don't really have just yet. So that's uh, one of the things. So if you go here again, this is sticking offer. It's just pretty much the same thing. Uh, talking about that same information. I think it's like copying and paste from, from Hindenburg Research. So that's what I want to say. So my strategy here, guys, um, again, based on what I've seen in these particular stocks in the past, when a stock take a beating like this, uh, again, for a company that it's a startup, we would expect a lot of uh, little issues but this dip is an opportunity for you to buy. I'm anticipating if this thing at open, this thing can pull down to, let's say, $12. I hope I can post this before the market opens. But if not, you're going to see a little bit late. Uh, this thing can pull down to, say, $12, $11. You can pick it up there. And then it could be a $2 spread or even a $3 spread back to maybe uh, $13, $14. 
And that would be someplace where you can take profit. So again, um, it's an opportunity for you to, if you don't have a position here, get to pick up a small position and swing it and make some money. Because when you, again, when I say, you see these tips like this, it usually bounces back two or three dollars in the not where you can make some some good money. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. Again, recap, uh, Hindenburg Research just put out a hit piece on Lordstown Motor because um, they say that most of their orders are not true orders not coming from legitimate companies. They cannot verify uh, the companies that are putting these orders. So they don't feel confident that the company is actually uh, telling the truth to their investors. So that's why I wanted to let you guys um, no, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. Do you own um, a ride or are you planning on buying the stock uh, during this tip? Again, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.